you're resisting the urge to sing Ragnar the Red right now, aren't you? Um, maybe. You're awfully quiet. Oh, am I? Eh, well. I suppose, meh, but not, not awfully quiet, but you are a quiet person. Yeah, usually. I find it kind of funny considering you are the voice and shouting and all that. Yeah. I, if I had it my way, whoa. What? We were traveling with vampires for so long and mostly at night I never got to see your eyes in the daylight. They're bright red. Well, yeah. We don't mer. Well, yeah, but they're bright red. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry. You don't spend a lot of time around Dunmer, I take it. Well, well. Not so much these days. Sorry, got distracted. Happens. Aren't we a pair? If we can make it to this tavern. Whoa, excuse me. Oh. Well, isn't that nice? Ah. You're fire resistant. Hey. Well, ish. Hey there! Gonna be trouble? Never mind, I guess not. Eh, yeah, just wait. What was there? that? Like I figured. Nice! Oh, I've got your back. Well. <clears throat> More good? I hope she's okay. Okay, I'm good. She just knocked the wind out of me. <laughs> uh, ouch. Okay, we're good. We're fine. Oof. <laughs> Do you, uh... Need a hand? Eh, maybe? There we go. Hey, that's a lot better. Don't you love bandits? Not really, no. I was gonna say, they're just waiting for us to get to a spot where they can all attack us at once, and then they interrupted me by doing that. Just, just that thing. The, uh, that just thing. Aye. <laughs> ah, wolves. Right, they're not gonna attack us because you're a werewolf. Hey, I forgot you knew. That scared me. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Too late, I guess. Eh. I'm starting to regret. Re Oof. I am starting to second guess the sleeves. Oh, I hadn't even noticed. Eh. Eh, grand's demands. Oh, that sort of rhymed. She was concerned about me getting my my wee arms chopped off or something. <laughs> Can't say as I blame her. The uh, bandits were a little close. Eh, not too bad though. If you say so. Great. 
Great. Right. Robber's Gorge. Eh, we could take them. Oh, right, but I'm I'm starting to regret wearing them because they're very, very warm in the sunlight. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the nice clear day, but this is a little bit ridiculous. Haha. <laughs> have some of that. Ouch. Right, don't stop to tease the bandits. You picked a bad time to get lost. This should be good. There's someone. Time to end this little game. <laughs> Oof. Ow. Now ain't this a surprise? Lovely. Oh, I hate I ice. Your head on my wall. <laughs> with that little thing? Coming at me with a knife, you're gonna mount my head on your wall? Really? Time. Are they st Thanks for distracting them. Great. You alright? Uh, no. I'll be fine though, I can heal myself. Didn't expect to get backed up against a spiked wall, did you, hun? Okay, I'm good. I'm fine. We're good. I totally didn't get stuck underneath one of those boulders. Ouch. There we go. I know spells. I just can't remember them sometimes. I... I feel that in the bottoms of my souls. <laughs> Anybody else home? Anyone want a piece of the dragonborn? Heh. <laughs> Seems like a lot of people want a piece of the dragonborn. Huh? None of them smart. Didn't expect you to go for like a whatever that was. <laughs> That's what happens when nice armor. I very nice. I kind of like it. And a key. Seems like every time I come through here, there's someone else camped out here. That's nice. Do you need... Uh... A ring that makes you regenerate faster? Ooh. Tempt me with a good time. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, sorry. Alright, what have we got in here besides a skylight? And... A journal. Uh. Oh, bum, 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 bum. What have you got? S rival bandits, I think. It's not safe here. I took the boat out tonight and stowed it on the island to the south by the old tree stump. What did you stow? It's gathering followers for mutiny. Da -ba -da -ba -da. Oh, probably, so, probably treasure. Are we gonna go looking for treasure? Eh, uh, I mean, what kind of on a mission? Yeah, that was my thought too.
You're thinking about it. Yeah. Ish. I don't really feel like swimming though. Hey, feel that? Right. Looks like it's kind of getting late too. And very yellowy. Ooh, lovely. Wonder if we've got ash coming out here from red. <laughs> Sorry for laughing, but uh, oh no, it's fine. I laugh about it all the time. If you ca if you uh, well, if you can't laugh about it yourself, I don't know what's the point, right? If you can't laugh about yourself, what's the point in? Or wait, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's all good. It's getting late. You were saying something about Ash from Red Mountain. Hey, that's the one. <laughs> that's the bitch. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Sort of explains. Excuse me. Sort <laughs> sort of explains why my and whoa. Okay. Oh. Sorry. You're good. What the? Some jerk with a witch bolt staff. Is that what that was? Uh, Eldritch blasts, actually. Nice. I wish. Excuse me. I wish these bastards would leave me alone. <laughs> Scourge of the Grey Quarter. Sure. Hey, I would too. You know, any idea where they're coming from? Besides Soul Slime? Oh, right. Oh, right. What, you know something about that? Eh, uh, well, ish. I know that uh, Mirak exists. Where are we going? Uh, up the hill and around a corner. Cool. Yeah, Mirak. Or something. I suppose we're gonna have to go to Solstheim to deal with that at some point, aren't we? Yeah. I think I'd rather finish what we started with Helgen, though. Hey, I feel that. You know, it's really nice to talk to someone who's got the same kind of sense of uh, vernacular as I do. I mean, no offense to Gran or anyone else, but eh, you know, I feel like I have to. I, I've got to speak more properly and whatnot. Around them. <laughs> you you and Z Test, I think, are closest to me in age. I think. And I don't mean chronologically, because if that's the case, I think Arden is closer. Oh well, that's awkward. Hello, butterfly. Sorry, I just took your snack. The reach is gorgeous. Aye, isn't it? Eh, it's so nice to be able to actually see things. Oh, right, because, uh, Ash from Red Mount, good gods, this kid. <laughs> Took me a while to get around to the point, but yeah, the, the yellow light might be getting some ash. Yeah, I figured that's where you were going with it. We have a fire season in Hammerfell and you can always tell. Because everything gets all yellowy and sometimes the sky turns purple at dawn. It's weird. Hey. Sounds like home. <laughs> Not in a Come good way. Along. No more stops. We need to find our way to solitude. Why are we even going to a wedding at this far flung end of the Empire anyway? I told you it's the wedding of Vittoria Vici, an extremely well connected merchant with the East Empire Company. The Emperor's cousin, remember? Hopefully these gifts will put us in her good graces, secure that import <laughs> deal, and lead the way to an audience with the Emperor. Uh, 
They've been lost for like four months. Aye, longer than that, probably. Wonder when they'll finally get the hint. Considering that that guy's still in Imperial armor, I think it might be a while. On your left. Oh, that's why I've never seen the place before. It's like off the road to the side and the fort there. Hey! I'd say easy to miss, but it's... Well, I mean, we don't really go around this way, do we? Do we? <laughs> don't mind me. Okay. What is she wearing? Well, uh, Val did say something about a, uh, yeah, probably should have warned you about that. I think you did, I just didn't take you seriously. Hmm, okay. Ah. Uh, I've never been in a place like this, I'm a little lost. I don't look for- don't look at me. I'm like... Just- just- you- you go. <laughs> okay. Thanks. I get to deal with this. Uh... Um... Wow. Uh, sorry to intrude. Uh, 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 I'm... Uh, here on business. Looking for a high elf named Arundel. Do you know him? Well, baby, I only provide one kind of service here. And information, ain't it? Besides, I never kiss and tell. What you see is what you get with me, sugar. So, if you're not interested in my company, I suggest you go to the bar and leave me be. Ah. Uh... Uh, um, but you can do it. You're fine. You need a little gold. I, I'm not gonna. Right. So, I, uh, uh. So you you get paid for your time. I don't particularly need that kind of time, but uh, I can compensate you for the chat. I guess. Well, baby, if you're feeling that generous, maybe I know a little. But I was hoping to get to know a pretty girl like you a little better. Uh, um... It's a pity, though. I just love the feel of a woman against me. I would make you feel like you've never felt before, baby. <coughs> Can what? You alright? Should, um... Yeah, I'm fine. Uh... Right, we're talking about Arendelle. <laughs> what do you know about him? About him? Nothing much. He's been here to see me a time or two. Not very, uh, impressive, if you ask me. <laughs> but that's another story. <laughs> Don't laugh, Mordgut, that's rude. Anyway, uh, uh, anything else? I... Uh, what were we here to- I can't believe you. It, we're- look, uh, lady, don't please waste our time, because we're kind of on business, and my friend here, she's a little awkward, and so am I, but uh, don't be wasting our time now. Hold on, sweetie, I'm getting to it. All I really know is that another one of the girls said someone else came in here looking for him yesterday. She said instead of a tall mast, he was more like a limp sail. <laughs> but she said he sure did his share of talking. I guess if you can't be good at, well, you know, something else, talking is the next best thing. 
She said he was one of those kind you wouldn't want to tell any secrets to, if you know what I mean. He said his name was Manin. Anyway, he said he would be taking a ship out of solitude back home soon. For all I know, he might still be there. Now, if you don't need me for anything else, I have customers to take care of. Right. Yep. Okay, we're out of here. Thanks. Mm, that's a pity, honey. Don't. Good grief. You are bright red. Shh. Shh. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen someone turn the color of my eyes before. Great. Kind, Morgan. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Right, let's go. Oi. So that was fun. <laughs> Were you even paying attention to anything she said? I. Uh, yes. Ish. Mostly. Boat. Solitude? Manon? Uh, Yeah, you picked up more than I did. Really? What? I was busy laughing at you. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I could amuse you with my... Uh... Flusteredness. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I think we've got a little bit of ash in the air. Between the clouds and how kind of foggy it is. Oh, right. You can't see in the dark. Um, no, I can't. Can you? Uh, hi. Oh, right. Because you're a werewolf. I keep forgetting. Hey, I'm kind of hoping things don't get a wee bit hairy while we're poking around solitude. Oh, yeah, that would be bad, wouldn't it? Uh-huh. A little bit. Well, Master is... You know. Oh, hey, and Secunda. Neither of them are full. Hey, so I should be fine. Should. What in the heck is this? I don't know. Well, I'd say Hersine, but I don't think I've ever seen Hersh Hersine. Hey, that's how you say his name. And I don't know much about him, so. Hey. Look at all these torch bugs! <laughs> So, uh, were you actually considering uh, taking her up on her offer? No. Are you sure? Yes. Not the kind. Not the type. Nights in Skyrim are very quiet sometimes. Oh. Eh, sorry. You, uh, spaced out? Yeah, I do that. Just admiring the... everything. Uh, Solitude Ducks. That's where we're going. <sighs> and then maybe stop in the tavern on the way back. Sleep. As much as I got used to the endless nights and, and long days when the war was still going on? I like sleep these days. 
Hey, I feel that. I mean, I don't really sleep as well as I used to because the whole beast blood thing, but... Is that? I think that's our friend Mike. I am staying out of this. Hello. <coughs> Hi. <coughs> okay. Go, go! Yeah. All right. Oh, hey. I think that's the dawn guard up there. Nice bear. <laughs> the bear is always the distraction. Well, no, that's not right. Usually there's another distraction and the bear's the real threat. <laughs> be getting late. I mean, obviously it's getting late, the stars are out, but I'm also getting a little foggy about the brain. I Well, I have no excuse, I'm always foggy about the brain. <laughs> she was kind of pretty. Are you gonna... Are you gonna be like this? Are, are you gonna... What? Tease you about the lady? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I think I hate you. I don't think you do. I I hope you don't. <laughs> no, I don't, but uh... I am kind of awkward around girls. Although, I'm pretty awkward around everybody, so... Hey, you and Arden have that in common. <laughs> so, finding an Altmer at the Solitude Docks. How hard can it be? Oh gods, don't say that. Gonna jinx us? That's a good point. I might well jinx us. Hit, <laughs> watch him not be down here but be up in the inn or something instead. Yeah, that would be part of the course, wouldn't it? Go check up on the big boat. Eh, I don't see why not. Oh, kind. I'm a little far away for that mud crab. Ah. Uh... I don't really want to go in. Hi. Either here. So it looks like you were right. It's probably up in the inn. Mm -hmm. You talk to Ed Brothers. Deja has no words for you. I have no words for yes, Deja. Yes, How can I help you? Right. The scar. Well, the scar, the armor, the uh, everything. Suppose I do kind of stand out around here, don't I? Eh, I. Pretty much anyone who isn't a Nord stands out here. Do I really want to go up the long way? No, I don't. Long night. So I guess it'll be the inn here rather than the one Dragon Bridge.
hope she's keeping up. Yes, she is. Good deal. Oh. You know, I kind of forgotten that that entrance actually exists. <laughs> Don't blame. Uh, what am I hearing? I think we're under the windmill. You are correct. We are under the windmill. Where are we? Right, the inn. Getting late. Spacing out. All understandable. Welcome to the Winking Skeever. Take a load off and enjoy the atmosphere. Distracted by pretty ladies, maybe. Or good. Uh, that looks like an altmer. Excuse me? Um, I'm looking for a high elf named Arendelle. You know him? What? Who? You must be mistaking me for someone else. I know no one by that name. Uh, of course. Word is that you were involved in a, uh, a business best not spoken about in polite company. What? That's absolutely preposterous. Is that... You just had to start saying that when I walked in, didn't you? Right. I realize you don't know who I am, in spite of Lizette singing about me at this very moment, but uh, I can keep you out of jail if you want to talk. That's my deal. Is that so? Hmm, perhaps you're right. This job has become more than I bargained for anyway. Alright. So? Very well. I will talk. But only if you guarantee me you'll let me sail back home. Of course. So, uh, where is Arendelle? I don't know. I never met him, actually. I only met with one of his... associates. An odd bandit named Gunlock. Some say his last name is Forktongue, <laughs> but I wouldn't know about that for sure. <laughs> All I know is that Arendelle sends the, um, product to Gunlog, and he takes care of getting them smuggled out of Skyrim. People aren't cargo, mate. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Anyway, where can I find him, Gunlog? I don't know exactly where he is, but I know they smuggle the product out of Skyrim from an old shipwreck on the coast northwest of here. I heard they used an old frozen cave to hold the product, and then used boats to transfer them out to one of their ships at night. My shipment is supposed to be on its way there now. I swear to you, that is all I know. Okay. Well, in that case, we'll just have to go this is deal with that. Skyrim's truest sons and daughters, the storm I, I don't think that ship is going to we sail, my to friend. Youth, no, I suppose it won't. Not now, at least. So, your plan is to leave Skyrim on the next available ship, correct? Yes, yes, of course. As I said, I've already made those arrangements. Okay, good. And if I ever see you here again, you're a dead man, understood? You needn't worry about that. Now then, I'll take my leave of you. And I of you. We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all our Are lives. Are you even old enough to drink? Guard beckons, uh, every one of us dies. Well, that depends on what province you're in, really. Oh, I've good. only been a part of the Red this Waves crew for a few ours, weeks. And we'll see you okay. Being old's not so bad. Daughter keeps me fed, and my working days are done. Sorry. I, uh... <laughs> Uh, I'm fine. So, are we gonna deal with that tonight? I mean, I figure we'd better if they if if they sail their ships at night. Then, 
we want to stop them before morning, right? Before they can get underway? It's still early. Ish. Aye, that's a good point. Shipwreck to the... Okay. Out past Fort Krogstad. Oh, this'll be fun. <laughs> uh, this'll be a hike for sure. Well, this is lovely. Hey, uh, I know it's like one in the morning, but uh, you think you could do something about this? Nah, I could, and let them know we're coming. Well, I mean, that's a good point, but like... You, you, it, this is like, you could, it's soupy. <laughs> that's a good point. All right. Look, of course. Great. As always, the ice race is the is the distraction. The snow bear is the real threat. Okay, there's Fort Krogstad. You sound very uh, western when you say that. Well, I am sort of ish. With any luck, this will be the path down to where we're going. I hope. The fog clears and the auroras are gorgeous. Hey, look at that. Find us, bear. Ooh, there's a castle out there. There is. I wonder who lives there. Ah, uh, I don't know. Hey, yo. Oh, looks like we've got a whole patrol down here. I'm not sure why. Oh, wait, maybe that's... Maybe that's what? Uh, and it's snowing. Of course. Uh, castle... Ville, ville, ville. Ville, 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 ville. I can't talk. Castle something. Uh, oh, in which case, I think maybe Arden lives there. Oh. I mean, that sort of makes sense. He does seem to be fond of castles and forts and all things old and falling apart. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Uh, because I sort of just described Ingrath. Oh, well, I you did. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, feels like home, except it's freezing out here. Oh, with the clouds and the sea and the whatnot? Oh, hi. Yo! No! Okay. That up. Nice. I think you've got this well under control. <laughs> I am glad to have someone watching my back, though. And, you know, 
my left side. <laughs> Speaking of old and falling apart. I am so bad at picking locks. Okay, that's enough of that. You want me to give it a shot? Ah, uh, that's alright. I will agree with the falling apart a little bit. I'm inclined to blame the combat. Just in general. This one is not locked. Skooma key. Let's see what's down here. <laughs> well, that's fun. What? Ah, found an old sword. A uh, very familiar old sword. Look at this beast. Ho <laughs> ho uh, you any good with it? Uh, not really. I'm not much of an... I'll just carry it. Not much of a two-handed weapons kind of person, but... Well, maybe I could teach you a thing or two. Maybe... We're missing something. Aye, for sure. I don't know where. I'm guessing the other part of the ship. Finding anything? Uh, not really. Yeah. <laughs> I should have learned from my last diving expedition that I can't hold my breath that long. <laughs> you seem like a strong swimmer, though. I hope I am. Uh, right. I feel like we must have missed the boat. Ugh. That doesn't bode well. No, it doesn't. Crud. Wait, didn't he say an ice cave nearby? Good, good call. Good call. Might have been a wrong call. It's a lead. What was that? Oh, hello. Thought I heard something. Yo! I've got him. Yes, you do. You're an idiot. <laughs> I was the distraction. You were the real threat. <laughs> uh, more good. What? 
I mean, you're right. So, uh, are you carrying around this big sword for a reason? Yeah, I intend to hang it up back home. I think we've got company already. Uh-huh. Is someone there? Yep. Yo! I've got news for you, lady. Oh. Uh, I'm not alone. <laughs> oh, okay. Hi. Need something? Well. Huh? Okay. We'll be back for you. Hmm? Right. Huh? Ooh. Yo! It's a little disconcerting that you can just fray people like that, you know? <laughs> Double teamed. <laughs> you are a joy to adventure with. Hey, thanks. Whoa. Ow. <laughs> How do you like that? A taste of the blade, master. <laughs> what? Oh, I had to come up with a, a... a stage name, I suppose. And, uh... I couldn't come up with anything. I was gonna call myself Dawnbreaker, and then decided against it. And now I'm wishing I hadn't, because it's a lot spicier. Uh, you alright? I don't know who you are, friend, but thank you. Will you go check outside and make sure it's safe for us to leave? I heard that bandit say there's some others on the way to ship us out of here. Please, help us. That's my wife and son in there. I've got to help them. He's not going to make it if we don't hurry. Uh, okay. We'll be right back. I'll go see what I can do to get my family and the other man ready to get out of here. Please, make sure the coast is clear and please hurry. Uh-huh. Oh boy. Hey. Ah, this is always my worst nightmare. Assuming someone's gonna come in behind us and mess yes. things up. Stab me in the back, I suppose. Literally? Literally. to become a nuisance. Find her and take her to my quarters on the ship. Uh, good to see you're finally coming back around. Oh, don't worry. The paralysis isn't permanent. But you may have a headache for a while. Oh, the things I do to you. What did you just do to me? I suppose there's no harm in you knowing. It's a spell from a very arcane and ancient school of magic. I am one of only a few who can wield it these days. For a lesser skilled being, its effects are more harmful to the caster than the victim. In recent times, many died simply trying to learn it. But I have mastered it, even if it does leave me a little... tired. But I don't think you really want to talk shop, do you? No, of course not. You've caused me quite the bit of trouble, you know. But be that as it may, I'm glad to finally meet you face to face. <sighs> I can't say the feeling is mutual. Where's Mordgood? Yes, charming to the last, I'm sure. But you do understand that it's simply a matter of my good graces that you're still alive, don't you? Do you think that slaughtering an entire dispatch of Old Mary's soldiers, including two Justicias, would go unnoticed by the Dominion? Were it not for me, that fetid little town you're trying to rebuild would have been razed to the ground by now. 
and the Thelmor would have once and for all put an end to your pitiful little band of miscreants. Oh, you look surprised. But don't worry. I know everything. The town. This Marcus Janus, and most of all Valerius Tiberius Arturia, and his pathetic remnants of the Keepers of Hatu. They were also once a great thorn in my side, and, like you, caused me not a little bit of trouble in the past. But their time, his time, and yours, has come to an end. I'm sorry if I gave you the impression that I'm surprised. I'm just trying to adjust to the light. You butchered his wife and children, what do you expect? Expect? I expect him to die, like all men will die or serve the Dominion. The era of men has come and gone. It is now the time of the Ultima. You know, we were once a very patient people. But that patience has worn thin. You have no idea who I am, do you? Alright, why have you kept me alive? What do you want with me? I could have killed you, but I did not. Why? You must need me for something. Yes, good. You see, we're not so different, you and I. I killed his family and others. You killed my men at the prison. We're both murderers. It's all just a matter of perspective. I... You know you're right. And I hate that. I do hate that you're right. But we do have our differences. Ah, but yes, you are. You will see that in time. If you live. Alright, let's stop the chit-chat and actually... Stop wasting time, I suppose. Tell me what you want. You will go get Valerius Tiberius Arturia, and hand him over to me at the prison where you murdered my soldiers. You're kidding me, right? You might as well just kill me now and get it over with. Oh, but there is way all wrong. You will, or else your friend, Marcus Janus, will die. Oh. Oh, you are a little shit, aren't you? What'd you do with him? As I said, I know everything about you and your friends. I know that yesterday he decided to take a little stroll down to Riverwood. You know, you just can't be too careful these days. You never know when you might get kidnapped and brought to me. So, as you can see, you have little choice. Bring Valerius to me, and I might let Janus live. Don't bring him to me, and he will surely die, as will Valerius and you. So you see, Valerius is going to die, one way or another. This way, you at least get to spare the life of your friend. It's your choice. Now, you must sleep for a bit, and when you wake, you'll be back at the shore. You know what you must do. Oh, why I oughta... Now sleep. Guards, take her back to the shore. Oh gods, where's more good?